Is the Las Vegas real estate market going to crash or just have a correction? Las Vegas real estate market reports are a snapshot in time and things can change quickly. In this report, we will discuss housing statistics about significantly increasing listings inventory while demand has dropped, the meaningless median price of homes that only shows the market direction in lower price ranges, the price per square foot of houses, which is the right criterion to measure home price gains and losses, and how it has changed. Average days to sell Las Vegas homes to show the high percentage of homes that go under contract in less than a month. Sales price to asking list price ratio that measures if homes are selling at a discount. Additionally, we will break down housing statistics by the price ranges as a $400,000 home in Las Vegas is not going to be affected like an $800,000 home. How fear affects the Las Vegas housing market. We currently live in a climate of fear and its effect on the Las Vegas housing market, and we'll discuss whether it is justified or not. The Las Vegas real estate market is called the most bloated market in the United States, so will it have a correction or a 2008-like crash, as some predict? And lastly, why for the first time in the last decade we recommend selling your residential real estate? Let's take a quick look at the June 2022 statistics. 2,690 homes were sold in June 2022. 24.6% less than June 2021, and 8.2% less than the previous month. At the same time, the active home listing inventory has rocketed in the last month and stood at 5,745 listings, which is 61% more than May and 134% more than June 2021. Additionally, the meaningless median price of Las Vegas homes, which only shows the market direction in lower price ranges, is $480,000 or $1,000 less than May 2022. The price per square foot of houses, showing home price gains or losses, has appreciated by $4 from May's $268 per square foot for a 1.5% increase in a month. Other statistics of interest are time on the market until sold, which stands at 17 days since 86% of listings go under contract in less than a month. And the sales price to the original asking list price ratio is still 100%. You didn't need this video to find this information, but to get more insight, let's break Las Vegas's available home listings inventory and home sales by price range. The first price range is for homes priced less than the FHA loan limit of $420,000 plus a 3.5% down payment of, or $434,000. We round up to the nearest $1,000. The conventional loan limit in Clark County, Nevada is from $434,000 to $548,250, which with 20% down payment becomes $658,000. And the third is for homes priced higher than $658,000. The only factor that affects home price gain or losses. Supply and demand in real estate is measured by the months of listing inventory, which is calculated by dividing the number of homes that are not under contract by home sales, and in June it stands at 2.2 months. As we have previously discussed, home market direction is decided by the months of listing inventory, and four months of listings inventory is considered neutral. Therefore, to see actual price drops, we have to be higher than four months. Here are the months of home listings inventory by price range and home sales. And the first is FHA home buyers. Before the eye popping home price escalations, about 60% of Las Vegas home buyers used to be FHA home buyers, which has fallen by half now. However, these buyers can only choose from 1,340 listings out of the 5,745 current listings while 788 units were sold in June. 
so the months of listing inventory is an extremely tight 1.5 months. Additionally, about 30% rent escalation of the last year and a half still make them viable investment properties with ex excellent cash flow, so price drops for these will be minimal unless we run into significant unemployment problems that affect renters. We specialize in finding Las Vegas investment properties with the highest cash flow. Additionally, we will provide you with a reasonable cash flow estimate before you make an offer. So if you want to invest here, call us at 702-478-7800. The available listings inventory for homes priced at $435,000 to $658,000 in the conventional loan price range is 1,956. While 1,053 units sold in June for 1.9 months of home listings inventory. And lastly, in the jumbo loan price range, we have 2,674 active listings, while 873 sold in June, resulting in 3.1 months of home listings inventory. How supply and demand can be influenced by other factors. However, the months of listing inventory can be influenced and quickly changed by other factors, such as mortgage rates, inflation, and the psychological environment. And this fact is reflected in the 61% increase in home listings in just a month, coupled with de decreasing demand. We are currently living in a climate of fear. We don't pay any attention to the stock market and economic news unless it affects the real estate market but Masood has recently been watching many scary videos about them. And here is what he says. Jamie Dimon is the head of J.P. Morgan Chase, the largest bank in the U.S., saying that while it is sunny now, an economic hurricane is just beyond the horizon. What I remember from Mr. Dimon was when he went to the U.S. Senate to testify about a matter, Senators left their podium and lined up like good school children for the privilege of shaking his hand. I have never seen the same for anyone. I just heard that his company's net earnings is down by about 48% from last year, so at least he is right about a hurricane hitting his own company. Or Dr. Michael Burry of the Big Short movie predicts an economic crash like the 2008 Great Recession. Now he is saying that big companies are so overstocked that they have to reduce pricing to get rid of excess inventory, pushing the inflation down. These are way over my head, I'm just a realtor. But on the other hand, a few other billionaires are saying this is the opportunity of a lifetime to buy. Only Lord knows and I don't. Going from a strong seller market to a buyer's real estate market in a blink of an eye. At any rate, the market has changed as home prices have stopped escalating. So buyers who couldn't get an offer accepted just a few months ago are backing off and in some cases canceling deals, waiting for significant price drops. On the other hand, some retail investors who have seen nothing but increasing home prices in the last decade are panicking and trying to sell their property while the getting is good. But the same doesn't apply to big institutional investors who have purchased thousands of investment properties here by crushing financing home buyers like a bug, using interest-free loans provided by the federal government. Besides 30% plus equity, they have raised rents by 30% and will easily ride out any market correction. So the months of listing inventory can increase appreciably in a short period, leading to actual price drops. We are not talking about reducing highly inflated asking list prices due to quickly appreciating home prices. We are talking about selling at a price below recently sold comparable units. But as we have shown above, cheaper homes, especially those priced less than the FHA loan limit, will be affected last and least. Those priced in the jumbo loan range are already in trouble and their months of listing inventory could surpass four months in a couple of months. So dear retail investors who own a $200,000 investment condo in Las Vegas, you don't need to panic yet. We put two condos under contract in five and 12 days just a couple of weeks ago with minimal discounts, if any. Factors preventing a Las Vegas real estate market meltdown. 
Two factors seem to mitigate drastic price drops, and the first is inflation. I have seen what printed money, printing money can do to a country's economy. The Iranian government has been printing money for the past 20 years, leading to explosive inflation, incredible home price increases, and total destruction of the middle class. While inflation can push home prices down in the short term, it can't do it long term, and home prices will go up with rising inflation. Nowadays, it takes 47 years for an experienced engineer to buy a home there, if he or she saves all our salary and home prices remain stagnant until then. Yeah, that is going to happen. So while not an economic expert, I was laughing when Janet Yellen said we will have transitory inflation after printing and adding $5,300 billion in a year or so to the economy. The other is good cash flow from investment properties due to 30% rent escalation, that along with the inflation has knocked the Jesus out of the poor renters, forcing some to take a second job just to, to survive. I am not an economic expert and don't know which direction the economy will go, but if you want to buy a property in the lower price range, you are safe for now. If you're going to stay in your home for seven years, you will ride out any market fluctuations, and real estate is one of the best defenses against inflation. On the other hand, for the first time since 2012, we recommend you to do so while the getting is still good. If you want to buy, sell, or invest in Las Vegas homes, condos, or townhomes, please call us at 702-478-7800. You can find our contact info and webpage with the embedded video and video transcript in the video description. Please like, share, and subscribe to our Las Vegas real estate channel for upcoming videos. On behalf of the Sauber team, this is Karen Saberzade of Realty One Group and Las Vegas Homes Condos and Luxury High-Rise Condos, wishing you a great day.